Hi, it's Mitz from My Life Mitz. Thank you so much for being here. I want to do a follow-up and I guess like a pen test review in the B6 Takahashi Shoten Planner. And I will leave the original video down below. It is currently being housed in this Falcon Traveler's leather cover. It's in the, I think it's in the number 11 light brown. But anyways, I wanted to show you the pen test pen test that I did in the back here. I did a little bit earlier on in the day so that I didn't have to actually film it on camera that it would take too long. And so you can see the different uh, pens here. Of course, this one is actually like a permanent pen. I don't have a Sharpie with me, but I wanted to pass, test out a permanent pen. So there's that one right there. And if you see on the back, the permanent pen does slightly bleed as well as the the calligraphy um, I mean it's not so bad I, I will try and post like kind of close-ups so just here on the edge there where the uh, where I rubbed the ink where where I ran it a sev several times um, but it's really not that bad there will be some ghosting of course um, and yeah, and also this one here, the Tombow Play Color Dot. There's a slight bleed through here as well. But I wanted to show with you, the, share with you the pen test. Everything else, um, of course, writes beautifully. I found that the fountain pen, I'm not a, I'm not a big fountain pen user, but I found that it writes really smoothly, and I do did appreciate um, how smoothly it wrote. Uh, yes, so I have my notes here about the pros and cons that I wanted to share with you. So I just want to go down the, li the list and share with you my pros and cons. The first, uh, the, li the pros are a lot bigger than the cons. The cons are just a little bit. The first thing is the lines are faint enough that they don't bother me. I don't usually like lined paper and I steer away from it but it's so faint that um, it really doesn't bother me and it actually keeps my writing nice and straight. It, I don't have to have a shitajiki or writing board underneath it like I do with some of my other notebooks. Um, I, use, I usually use the shitajiki or writing board if I wanna have straight lines and because I have a lot of writing for work, I do appreciate these very, very faint lines. Um, there's also like indicators right here at the top um, so if you need to section off the lines, you can of course do that. The paper isn't too thin. I'm very used to the Hobonichi Weeks paper or like the Tomoe River paper in the Hobonichi Tejo and it's very, very thin. And I really like, I actually really like that paper, but this is, um, it's thicker than that, but it's not too, too thick, if that makes any sense. It's a really clean and simple look and that's what I really like about it. It's very, there's no fuss, no like coloring, no, um, it's just really simple and clean. I like these ones very much. I've used these often the previous month and the future month calendar there. If you're into like moon phases, it does have a moon phase uh, section as well in your monthly shot. Um, there are notes, there's like a notes section in the um, on the left hand side column and then a little bit on the bottom which I like as well it's not like the whole space is calendar and you have no space for any notes so I do utilize this bit sometimes um, so I do appreciate that there is a note section in the monthly layout the cover <laughs> so if you are if you are part of my uh, coffee page I've already I'm I did the cover as a giveaway. Um, I did want to mention that I liked the cover because it has, I think it had three credit card slots here on the back. Um, it had a pen loop and then it had a nice uh, big pocket on the side as well. Um, I will, I'll leave the original video down below if you're interested in the cover, but um, I do, I did like that it already came with the cover. So if you're not really fussed about what kind of cover to use, the cover that it came with is really, really substantial. It has enough slots, I think, and sections for you to put in like business cards or a little like uh, fusen, which is like sticky notes and things like that. And um, so I did, I 
I do like the fact that it does come with a cover and the cover are already has the year on there as well like it's uh, imprinted on the front so I mentioned earlier I would be bothered by the fact that it wouldn't lay flat I'm going to take this off and show you it doesn't bother me at all now um, this leather cover I just recently put back on it was housing one of my junk journals and it was closed it was in this state for a long time so it is um, a little bit stiff but the notebook itself so you might see little like ink I don't know if you if that's catching up on camera but like little ink not ink but oil splotches and I think it's just from my previous cover that I had on but yeah it lays flat it doesn't bother me the pages don't close up um, there are some notebooks that really drive me nuts and I need clips to keep them open but in this case it's fine I it doesn't bother me at all uh, you can see there it's nice and flat and um, it's just a, such a nice clean looking uh, simple and clean looking notebook I really like the future planning if you need to um, just like a snapshot there is a future planning ahead it has your previous calendar which I don't usually see um, in journals and planners um, so like if you need to reference something uh, like in the previous year it's there it's nice and small but it's there as your current year and then it has next year which is really nice to have I, I haven't used this section in the front, but it does have a um, like a future planning. So if you do need to plan ahead and you need to write um, appointments, it has small enough slots. It's like a substantial enough to write down like an appointment, somebody's party or wedding or something. <laughs> um, you can definitely utilize this spot here. I really like this journal for myself personally because it has the Japanese it has the Japanese uh, holidays which you know is I mean it depends on your where you uh, are located but it does come with the Japanese holidays and they're highlighted in red so I really really like that because I can just look at it at the monthly view and see oh this is a long um, like a long weekend also there aren't a lot of unnecessary papers in the back. I, it's unnecessary for me. I know some people really enjoy the extra information in the back of the notebooks and things. Some people actually end up covering them with their own pieces of paper. Um, I know Hobonichi one has a lot of extra pages in the back. This one is actually quite useful. I don't, mm, I, I don't really reference it often, but it is very useful. Um, because they go by the different uh, years but that's it and there's no like extra pages that's you know weighing the the notebook down I also really really like these little perforated notes that I can use I'm gonna end up <laughs> taking some of these or stealing some of these note pages and putting them in my other ring planner that I have that I'll have to show you one day so to the cons I'm used to having the monthlies all sectioned out in the front. I, with the Hobonichi Weeks, I was using it for my work and all the monthly sections would be out in the front. And I'm, I guess I'm just used to that mentality. I feel like there's this extra page. So for example, December, you have <laughs> this extra page here, this is your last week of November you have the 30th and then it goes to December but from the 1st to the 6th of December it's not highlighted and then there's this break in the middle with the monthly view and then it goes to here I'm just not used to the flow of it uh, with my weeks I would just start like this would wouldn't be uh, blocked out it would just go straight into the weeks um, it, it would just be very continuous and very flowing if that makes any sense but I feel like I I lose I lose my step a bit and I start to plan for this week but then I you know <laughs> I start to plan for this week and then I turn to the next page oh it, wait it's December and then I'm like oh no but then I should start planning on this page because I'm on this day like I, I get I don't know a little bit confused and maybe once I start to use it a little bit more often uh, or a little bit longer I'll get used to it but I just feel like the flow gets um, d 
disconnected or like it, it stops for me and so I need to get used to that I do like the monthly view very much it's nice and clean like I said um, there are like faint lines in the middle of the day so if you need to section off the actual day I, I was talking to my colleague he has um, he sections out the blocks um, for like personal and work appointments and things. I was talking to him about planners and I was asking him if he uh, has a planner for work and a planner for personal use and I, we were just talking and he was like, oh no, no, I just have one, one planner and I have all things in there. I just section off the little block for like personal appointments and work appointments and things. But so the each day, I don't think I mentioned this in my other video, each day there is a faint line that you can section off. Um, but yeah, and the last thing, and this is not a big thing at all, it's just the tabs. They're kind of, I don't know if you can see, uh, I will try and do a, a close up, but they're just kind of flicking up a little bit on the edges. Not a big deal at all. Uh, I like the fact that this is like a no fuss, really simple and clean planner, a B6 planner. I really like this layout. I went back to vertical uh, before and then I just keep coming back to this layout where I can have my to-dos for the week that aren't day specific. I can just write them all down here and then if there's like a day specific thing like uh, Japan Post pickup or like a DHL delivery, I can write them in, these, in this uh, specific day here. So I think that's about it. Uh, there's enough pages in the back here with lined paper and I want to say graph paper somewhere. Oh yeah, it has lined paper and graph paper as well if you need to write. So yes, I will be definitely be using this until the end of March and then we'll have to play it by ear and see how it goes, but I'm happy with this for now. I'm still, I'm housing it in this <laughs> B6 cover, but I will most likely be switching it um, back and forth. I was prior to this, I was using the Apple Pig Potato, Mr. Potato Leather one, um, but I really, really like to switch covers, so it's just my thing that I like to do. Um, but it's in this one for now. And if you have any specific questions, uh, just please feel free to leave them down in the comments below. So that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye.